Hello friends, welcome to Story Hour Online. So with all the rain that we got yester received yesterday, did you feel like you were living in the ocean? It was pouring at times, really hard. So in the theme of the summer reading program, Oceans of Possibilities, we're going to read another book about the seas or the ocean. And I'm going to wear my Squidward Yes, I have named him. His name is Squidward. And I think he's hilarious. He's so cute. So today's book is In the Sea. Short stories about animals in the sea and mammals by David Elliott. Pictures by Holly Mead. The seahorse. See the seahorse in the sea? Where else would the seahorse be? For though it's dainty as a wish, the seahorse is, you see, a fish. The shark. The fin. The skin, the brutal grin, the terror of the dark within. The octopus, you appear out of the blue, an eight-armed apparition, then vanish in a cloud of ink. No ghost, but a magician. The starfish. Five fingers, like a hand. The starfish shines in a sky of sand. The sea urchin, spiny, the sardine, tiny, the mackerel, shiny, the shrimp, briny. What do you think briny means, friends? Maybe hard crusted with good meat inside? The herring. Nobody's fool. How could she be? She lives in a school. The dolphin. He jumps. He leaps. He twirls. He spins. He's the jester of the briny deep. An acrobat with thin fins. Excuse me. The orca. You breach the water surface in your black and white tuxedo, then disappear into the blue, an elegant torpedo. The sea turtle swims the seven seas for 30 years, then finds the beach where she was born. By magic it appears. How can she know to come upon that far and sandy place? Rare instrument of nature, fair compass and a carapace. Now carapace is the hard shell on the sea turtle. Coral. As solid as a rock, as colorful as heather. Coral's living proof. It pays to stick together. 
That's a hard word, friends. Anemones. Got a lot of zing, by which I mean, watch out, they sting. Maybe it's like a jellyfish. The clownfish. Can you name a clownfish? Is not an enemy of anime, anemone. In fact, it is anemone's maid, for which anemone stings its enemies. And that's how friends are made. Did you come up with the clownfish, friends? Did you say Nemo? That's right. Right. The moral moray eel, ferocious and cunning, belligerent, brave, a sword without its sheath, a dragon in its cave. <gasps> oh. The chambered nautilus. nautilus. Her shell spins round, a top, a dancer, a staircase with no end, a question with no answer. The giant squid. Few have seen him, few wish to. Hide from this one. That's what fish do. The puffer fish. A trickster, a clown, a magician, a buffoon. One minute she's a fish, the next she's a balloon. The blue whale rises to the surface, an island, a mountain, all fluke and fin and fountain, the largest animal alive, sings a chanty deep and slow of winds that rage and storms that blow, of shipwrecked sailors down below. Oh, where they are, we cannot go. And then... She dies. The end. Lots of sea creatures, huh, friends? So for today's craft, we are going, I have found a uh, cut and paste sea turtle from livinglifeandlearning.com and you can color it with colored pencils or markers or you could do a uh, water painting if you wish. You could also maybe cut out between the circles or the circles themselves and place tissue paper behind it. Um, and that way you can make you a sun catcher and then cut all the pieces apart and paste them together. And if you have googly eyes, that would be fun. Have fun with that today, friends. Thanks for joining me. It's always a pleasure reading to you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.